Dresser Kitties Wayne here. Today we're going to draw Molly from Bubble Guppies. So let's get started. To draw this cute mermaid, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And I'm going to come right next to it, same about right here, and draw another circle. So I got two huge circles in. Let's come in there and make them draw so cute eyes. So two small circles inside for highlights and a curved line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom. And same thing over here. There, now that I have the eyes in, let's come to the sides right here. I'm just going to spruce them up with uh, three lashes on the sides. So maybe the center one's a little bit longer and one more. Then from there, let's come in between the eyes and let's say about right here. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a small little curve for the nose right in the center and then her smile. So her smile goes this way. So. Uh, let's see here. About right here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw a curve. Slightly comes upwards right here towards the center of her nose. And just kind of thicken it up. And cap it off. Now that we're done with her eyes and her mouth, let's go ahead and frame her face. So I'm going to come to the top of my eye, come out about right here, not too far, about right here. I'm going to give myself a point and same thing here, about right there. And right here, I'm going to start to draw a curve that comes in towards her eye. So this is a strand of hair. So it's going to end right at her the level of the eye. And then I'm going to round it off and pop it back out. So same thing here, just come towards the eye and stop where the eye ends and then pop it back out right there. So there's a little strand of hair. Then we're going to use this curve right here and we're going to draw basically the bottom of a U in here to frame her face. So I'm going to bring it really close to her mouth. So let's go ahead and just draw this curve right there and then go back up. There. Okay, so we have her face in. The bottom part of her face and then right in this area we're going to pop in an ear. So just draw this big curve that comes out. And I'm just going to come in here two curves for some detail. And same thing here. Okay, so now that we have that, we have to go up nice and high for this big forehead. So I'm going to come above her eye and I'll just say about right here, nice and high. I'm just going to go ahead and draw her brow. So I'm just going to angle, curve, I mean, draw a curve coming down. So about right here as well. Just so I know kind of how high to go up. Kind of helps me a little bit. So now that we have that curve in, let's bring this up towards her brow and then about right here, right over her brow, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a big curve, goes across. There, right in the center and then let's just go ahead and connect. So same thing here. And now we have 
like a strand that makes sense, right? So that's a little bit more complicated because there's all these little things we need to draw in first before we can put it together. Okay, so hopefully I didn't overcomplicate that. And then from there, now that we have this one big curve, we know we have this huge uh, mound of hair we need to draw. So I'm going to come up the curve, and this is going to go up right here. So let's come up here, and we're going to flatten it out a little bit. And then go up nice and high, and then swirl down. With one strand, one big strand on top. There. And then the sides, we're going to come right by here and we're just going to bring a curve down all the way towards her ear. And then this part right here will come about right here, same thing, towards her ear. Okay. And then let's see here. Let's, uh, Put in some details right here on her bangs. I'm going to come right here with a curve, bring it in. This one's going to come out a little bit, and then come in, and one more. There, for some detail. And you know what? I think this is way too thick, so I'm going to change this up a little bit and bring this in. Now I'll just come in here real quickly and wipe this part out. It just looked way too thick, so we're just going to thin it out. There. Hopefully that's a little bit better. And then let's draw her body before we finish the rest of her hair. So let's come to the center right here in between. Go right here and here, give her a little neck, and then draw her little shoulders, and same thing here. And then I'm going to come imagine where her shoulders would be, I mean her armpits would be about right here, and I'll just go ahead and connect with a curve. Then let's draw the body, so I'm going to bring this down, down with an angle. And this one's going to be a little bit straighter, so let's come over here. We're going to curve in. This one's going to be a little bit straighter. And we're just getting a little bit smaller as we come together. Thinner, I mean. Okay, this little body and then the tail. So we're going to flare this out. And this one's going to come down. And just round it off and connect. So I have the body, just tiny little body. And then right here, the top, I'm just going to cut this part off. And then right here, another curve. And then a little belly button right there. And for her hands, so I'm just going to have them to her side. So I just come out. And about right here, I'm just going to draw a thumb. Let's bring this out and round it off and then fingers. I'll just come in here, two little lines for the fingers. So same thing over here. Towards about this area, thumb. And the fingers. And let's see here. Now we can finally finish her gorgeous hair. So let's come bring this in. And about right here, I'll flare it out. Round it off. And we're just gonna draw a bunch of curves at the bottom. So one, two, three. And whatever space you have left, one more. And let's do the same thing on this side. So about right here, we're gonna flare it out. Come in with one strand. Then this part comes down. Comes in. And then we got one big one right here. 
and then whatever space you have left, just connect it, just to simplify it. And I'll just continue these strands, some more detail, and here, and here, and let's see here. For her hair and um, let's see am I missing anything really overdid it with her hair didn't I <laughs> and pop it out a little bit more okay so I totally made a mess here today I'm just gonna come in here and adjust So that's what happens when you use a Sharpie and you mess up. <laughs> Good. Thank goodness I have this whiteout pen to help me out. And let's see here. That is pretty much it. Sometimes the proportions are off and you just have to go in and fix it. So always take a step back and take a look. But that is pretty much it for my drawing here of Molly from Bubble Guppies. I really hope I helped you draw her fun and easy. And definitely let me know in the comments below if you want me to draw all the other characters and which one I should draw first. Thanks so much for watching. And if I helped you out today, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later. Bye.